Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Lodestone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. I am a Didi, and this is a message for whenever this message reaches you, because spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, and so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Dig what I'm saying? So let's check our spiritual voicemail and see what's what. Shall we? Do let's. So I didn't have any big messages come up in the pre-shuffle. Uh, not gonna lie, I have been preoccupied mentally, physically for the last couple of last couple of days. Uh, no, I was not directly affected by some idle gossip. However, um, just from me perusing the internets over the weekend, but there was definitely a lot of that going on. A lot of airing out. A lot of airing out. Like, have you guys been feeling that? Like a, a release maybe or you know karmic debts being called in some um paid in full sales slips being handed out yeah it's been a uh, interesting this last couple days just seeing how things are Things are panning out. It's, uh, we'll say it's been positive in Aditi's world, but ooh, that weekend was high energy. Goodness, maybe that's it. Sales slips being paid in full. All right. Here we go. Oh, shit. Adjustments are required with the Three of Wands. A new romantic cycle begins with the Chariot and the Star. Mm. Okay. Balance spirituality and practicality. here move you over here because this is actually the center with the knight of wands eight of cups and ten of crystals okay so let's check the viewfinder make sure that everyone can see everything Oh, wow, look at all that spache. Okay, all right. Let's move these up so that you can see the labels. Okay, okay. Looking good. You feel right, Brian? You feel right. Oh, I'll take it. Okay, so adjustments are required with the Three of Wands. Hmm. Third quarter moon. Okay. Okay. So... talk moon cycles for a minute so when we are when the moon is about to be full uh, full moons are by and large for releasing and new moons by and large are for the manifesting so when we get to here um, 
let's say we're like, you know, week one, week two, week three, week four. Week four would be a full moon. Just walk with me, all right? So you get to the third week that you know you've got one more week to put in the good work to be examined or checked, as it were, right? So you know that you have enough time that if you use it correctly, that will actually make a difference. It's not something that you just kind of like cruise into, you know? So I'm also thinking like a relay race, like that last person, the anchor is usually the fastest one on the team. And that's because every millisecond counts. So now is the time to make these adjustments because there's with this release of things, there are some answers coming in. Some answered prayers coming in. So you want to make sure that you're actually lined up to be able to receive them. A new romantic cycle begins with the chariot and the star. Yeah, line it up. This is a divinely appointed taxi for you with the chariot. Get in. You're going to he in. And with the star, this is the healing and the exaltation um, being treated like the divine being that you are. Fucking finally. Oh. 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 With the new moon in Libra. Okay. Now, this is for those of you that are actually wanting romantic love in your life. Again, an answer to a prayer. Balancing spirituality and practicality with the Knight of Wands, Eight of Cups, and the Ten of Crystals. Walking away from something that you have put a lot of energy into is an act of stepping out on faith. It is not lost on me that this central figure is literally standing on water. Keep your eyes on me. Lord, I'm sinking. You took your eyes off me. It is an act of faith. But you've got the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Crystals, both of which are very tactical cards. You know, the Knight of Wands is about seeking pleasure for pleasure's sake. Enjoying all of the delights that this earthly realm has to offer and the ten of crystals is uh, literally about resources tangible resources you know so it feels good to be able to spend money how you want it feels good to be able to have it so that you can do more good in the world and you are making the sacrifice to walk away and release what you have come to know in order to receive things that you have never experienced before, but that show themselves to be physically pleasurable. Five of Wands, Seven of Cups, Knight of Crystals, Magician, Ten of Daggers, Nine of Crystals.
whooping ass on all sides. Royal Rumble dog on it. And while this Royal Rumble is going, you are constantly making adjustments. The steps that you take to lead into a strike that you want to make, you have to be ready to call an audible on any of these things. Because not only are you a moving target, the one that you are wanting to strike is also a moving target. You have five, actually 10 moving targets going on in this five of wands, the bodies and the wands. And sometimes there will be in the midst of this battle, there will be times when you are on the offensive and times when you are on the defense, but you've got to be able to be light of foot and sharp of the mind in order to come out of this energy successfully. With the new romantic cycle beginning, you've got the Knight of Crystals and the Seven of Cups. You are going to have options. There are going to be choices. And some choices are going to be better than others. And then some choices are just not choices at all. They're just there, full of hubris and empty promises. But you have the Knight of Crystals. Slow ass, steady ass, dependable ass, Knight of Crystals. Listen. Blessings of this magnitude take time. Now, you do have time to ponder all these other cups and if you decide that you want to ruin your seven course meal with a Big Mac the option the Big Mac option is here I don't know anyone who actually wants two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun anymore. Do you know anybody in the year of Beyonce 2023 who's ordering Big Macs? They're not even big. Anyway, you could, Child McDonald's gonna come for me, whatever. Um, alas, I digress. You could choose to go for the instant gratification instead of waiting for the blessing like you've done previously, or you could choose to do something different. Balancing spirituality and practicality with the magician, 10 of daggers and the nine of crystals. So practically speaking, you're in a good position with the nine of crystals. This is like single self-dependent, throw your hands up at me kind of energy. That's the year in our Beyonce. Okay. Um, and then she's got, you know, the cardinal sitting on her finger. Same as with the traditional image. She also has a cardinal sitting on her finger. You know, but this is just like, hey man, I'm good. I, I really don't need, I'm not lacking anything here. Just kind of, I'm kind of chilling, you know? I've come out of this energy, this 10 of daggers energy. I've pulled myself up 
dusted myself off and got the best revenge by being successful. And it's because it is a direct result of using the spiritual tools that I learned when I was face down in the dirt. And instead of spending time and energy using my magic to affect other people's life, I literally just used it to affect my own. Six of Cups, Hanged, Page of Cups. I'm going to separate you two. Sun, Hermit, and the Moon. Y'all got jokes, spirit. Collective, Spirit's mic is hot. Okay. So, Six of Cups. Clarifying adjustments are required. You don't have to worry about whether or not your needs are going to be met. And because your needs are constantly being met, and you know what it's like to for that to not be, that also means that you have to adjust the way that you approach things. Now that you have a better relationship with finance and your worth, you, you have to cultivate this new way of thinking and feeling about yourself, right? It's okay to be happy. Being happy is not a rebellious act. Again, being happy is not a rebellious act. One more time for the cheap seats. Being happy is not a rebellious act. You deserve to be happy and joyful just as much as the next person. So allow yourself that freedom, right? With Hanged and Page of Cups, this is looking at love in a new way because happiness is not an act of rebellion. You too can have a healthy, mutually respectful, good relationship. But in order for that to happen, you have to re-examine for those who are reluctant to receive love, you are being called to look at love differently. There's something here about what you've been told love is your entire life that is grossly incorrect. And when you take the time to look at romantic love in this new way, brand new with the Page of Cups, you actually create an environment where actual love can grow. And then this, this love that you have been waiting for if you choose to do the work and if you choose to accept it. Can actually change the trajectory of your life. Balancing spirituality and practicality. Okay. Balancing what you can see and what you can't see in your own self heart. Yes, you have access to unlimited power because the source is just that, an unending wellspring of power, answers, blessings, tools, messages. everything you need 
at your fingertips. All you have to do is ask. It's like the Amazon store, but better, you know? And then you've got the Hermit and the Moon. With the Hermit, this is becoming acquainted becoming better becoming better acquainted there it is becoming better acquainted with the infinite nature of source and how how that works in your own life and on your own path because again this this energy is infinite and it could be used to help humanity or it could be used to hurt humanity which one do you want to be do you want to be constructive or destructive because both of these are here the thing about light okay so even where we're talking about these two very prominent heavenly bodies, the sun and the moon. The sun actually gives off light. The moon reflects the light when it's lined up properly. When it's lined up properly, adjustments are required. And the moon is only able to reflect the light that naturally comes from the sun. And it's not saying that the moon is inferior. Not at all. It's that the moon's power operates differently. Different doesn't mean bad. But you need them both. You need the heat from the sun and the gravitational pull of the moon in order for our world to move the way that it does. Chancellor of Dagger, nine of dagger, ace of crystals, lovers, six of crystals, and four of daggers. So being honest about what's good for you and what's not good for you, what part of the sun and moon energy you're going to apply at any given moment, Chancellor of Daggers can assist you with that as the King of Swords. Because the Chancellor of Daggers is all about that logic, baby. Logic, facts, truth. That's it. The King of Swords does not have time to do the mental gymnastics that it takes to be able to catch a liar and a lie and then make him admit it. King of Swords will sooner cut your head off. See, dealing in honesty is a big deal in the, in the suit of swords because these are actually thoughts. And with these thoughts come an immense amount of power. And the Chancellor of Wands, if, if he doesn't do anything else, he knows how to conserve and convert the power of thought. Nine of Daggers and the Ace of Crystals with a new romantic cycle begins. Um, there are definitely some concerns here also about how these financial promises that we have been hearing all over the internet are going to come to pass. 
you got your head up you got your you're up late at night worrying about how is this person going to come in how how are what what's the money going to be like is this money really going to change my life like instantly or is it just going to gradually change my life you know is is this is this union the one is this the one that they're talking about or is it something new and something different like all these it's a lot of it's a lot of questions man it's a lot and then just say like well fuck it i'm just gonna focus on my money my money doesn't lie to me so there's that and practicing spirituality and practicality with the lover six of crystals and four of daggers um being in love is a beautiful thing falling in love cultivating it watching it grow over time it's really fascinating watching how people love one another especially when like they truly do and there are like I, I truly believe that the love is a gift from source because when it's applied properly it'll make a person change the world change their world you know sometimes the love is such that it will compel the individuals to be better individuals not only for themselves but also for the betterment of the whole but that talks about adjustments but just the just just the feeling of it you know like man we've got the six of crystals here um, the charity card yeah you want to be when you're in that you you want to give you want to be able to give freely you know you want to be free to do these things not just give freely, but, well, I mean, yeah. You want to be free to give these things. Free like in your heart and your pockets. And also be able to rest in that energy. Just snuggle right in it. Taste the glory. See what it tastes like. Yeah. There's a, there's a pocket, ooh, there's a pocket. There's a pocket in the spirituality and practicality that you are being called to settle into. It's like a groove, that alignment, you know? You'll know it when you feel it because you'll feel kind of like just clicked right in. But spirit wants you to find that spot and tap in. Rounding us out, the Tower, Two of Cups, Ten of Cups, Death, Nine of Wands, and Strength. Okay, adjustments are required, clarified by the Tower. If there is any time to wipe the slate clean and start over, it would be now. Not now, but right now. Yeah. Yeah. This stuff here in the tower is designed to fall. You had to get, it's like, you had to get the practice stuff down. You had to learn how to build this. You know, because this is this this tower is like, you know, everything to your life up until now. And from this point forward, 
everything can start anew if you need it to, if you want it to. It's about learning how to let some things go, how to walk away from some things, even when they have a very special place in your heart, learning how to, how to turn stuff loose with love. And also about self-preservation. A new romantic cycle begins with the Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups. I, everybody log off. Like, it, it, come on. This, it, it, this is like, like I said. I, the Two of Cups is a mutually beneficial meeting of the souls. This does, is not limited to romantic love, but this card is talking about a new romantic cycle. So we're sticking with that. Yeah. Yeah. This two of cups, ten of cups, this, this meeting of the soul actually brings long-term happiness. Which is why we're being called to slip into that pocket and stay there. Because there's a still there's a stillness in that alignment that you will need in order to recognize the two of cups when it comes your way. But if you are smart and you get in that pocket and clear out the stuff that needs to be cleared out, is begging to be cleared out, it's literally on fire. If you do that and settled in for and recognize when this approaches, there's some happiness in it for you. Balancing spirituality and practicality with death, nine of wands, and strength. The nine of wands and the strength in this particular layer um, lends me to think about the actual practicality of a thing. Because like with, let's just start with the nine of wands, right? That's the wounded warrior. real practical you had to practically beat some practical asses and take some practical licks to get here you know and they're all all the wands are standing up and arranged in in almost like a protective circle around our soldier here with her platform boots and her splinters and torn clothes like she really went through it and then like and then strength here there's the physical strength that was required to get to the point of nine of wands but then there's also the spiritual strength that is required in order to keep going knowing that there is something better after this when death here with with her beautiful destruction coming in and processing the souls as she should it's thankless work. Knowing that when she has to come down and visit a family, she is, mm, it's interesting that I'm making death a woman today, but whatever, we're going with it. But she is also carrying with her and leaving behind just a little piece of source to provide a sense of comfort for the living. You 
because death is death is the closest thing that we are going to get to seeing the face of God while we are here. And when she arrives, it hurts like the Dickens. And we are called to tap into the deepest parts of ourselves in order to continue leaving once she comes and collects what she needs to collect and processes what she needs to process. Mm. Whoa. All right. Well, thank you for taking the time to hang out with me today. And until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other. And I will see you next time. Bye now.